Jacob, all right, Harry boy. We don't like each other. Never did. Call me what you like. It doesn't bother me. This is business, see? What business? Ah, oh, that's better. Have you ever heard of a Frenchman called La Chasse? I think so. Wines and cognac, that La Chasse. He collects paintings. Collected, Harry boy, collected. He died yesterday. Oh. Age 95. Now listen. In 1903, La Chasse bought a painting by Renoir. Directly from the artist. It's called Dejeuner dans la Foy, which means lunch in the forest. You don't say. I want that painting. Well, who wouldn't? For 20 years, I've tried everything, but La Chasse wouldn't sell. Now you think the executors might? They might. To you. But not to you, why? Well, they'd sell at a price. But I'm flying to Canada tomorrow. Anyway, if I did buy the painting myself, I'd never get it out of the country. You had a little trouble in France in 1955, didn't you? The official you bribed went to jail. Now you want an export license for a classified work of art and you wouldn't get one, would you? I would not, but you could get a license. What's more, you'd make a better bargain than I would. I'm sorry, Merrick. I don't run errands. Brad, would you come in here, please? This painting's worth a lot of money, Harry. Probably half a million pounds. I want it. And I'm prepared to pay the man who gets it for me. I'll pay well. No. Yes, Mr. Lyme. Well, Brad, Mr. Merrick's just leaving. Would you show him out? With pleasure. All right, Harry, all right. Do it this way. You buy the painting yourself, and when you bring it back here, sell it to me. At any price within reason you care to name. That makes a little more sense. It means I'll have to trust you. You really want that Renoir, don't you, Merrick? You'll go? Good. You won't waste any time, will you? Mr. Lyme, that's the only millionaire we know I don't like. Brad, René Lachasse is dead. How much does his company owe us? $783,000.34. That looks as though we're about to collect. You better get moving. We're leaving for Paris tomorrow. Paris? You don't need me, Mr. Lyme. I always need you, Brad. You know how I feel about Paris. All that kissing in public and people eating snails. You know I can't even bear to watch people eating snails. As for the plumbing, Mr. Sorry, Lyme... Brad, you're going to Paris. After all, you wouldn't want me to deprive you of one of your greatest pleasures in life. Pleasures? Leaving Paris. Paris. Mary, mm -hmm. how did it go? Like I meant it to. So you've got Harry Lyme where you want him, have you? We've started, Adam, that's all. Did you get the tickets? Yeah, yours and mine, they're both in here. The plane takes off in a couple of hours for Paris. Monsieur, ça ne vous plaît pas Mais pourtant, c'est la spécialité de la maison. It is the best in the house, you see. Indeed. I don't like it. No Well, then I will take it away and bring you something else. May I suggest the tripe, monsieur Or the calf's head vinaigrette A glass of water, please. Bottled water. Bien, monsieur. It, Brad, lunch in the forest. Six hundred thousand dollars. Took me three days hard bargaining, but it was worth it. Will we show a profit? Sure we will. Is it insured? Not yet. I called the franchise people. My friend Paul is out to lunch. We'll get him later. Who's your girlfriend, Brad? Mr. 
hostile, aren't she? Just sitting there sketching people. I believe she's been sketching me. You should charge for your time. How much should I ask? I believe the going weight for models is 50 cents an hour. Really, Mr. Lyon? That's very good. Brad, come and take a look. Pretty good, eh? Yes, very good. You're a connoisseur, monsieur? No, I'm not. I'd like to buy that. It is not for sale. But you shall have it if you wish, monsieur... Webster, Brad Webster. Monsieur Webster. You're a connoisseur also, monsieur, perhaps? Of something. I'm glad. Thank you very much. Yeah, very interesting ball. That's all of you. Here is my studio. Come and see me. Come soon. I will show you my painting. Would today be too soon? No. Brad, would you take that back to the hotel? It's called the insurance people. Have Paul covered at once. What are you going to do, Mr. Lyon? What do you think? Really? Really? I want to call the Franchise Insurance Corporation. I do not know the number. Incomplete. Now listen carefully, there's no time to waste. You will kindly... It's magnificent. And it's all yours? Why not? You think I'm poor student? Poor, talented, beautiful. Oh, yes, I have talent. For some time now, many of my portraits sell. But I do many portraits, only of women. Why is that? Because I am a woman. And I understand here how a woman feels. So I can paint her. That is very important. But you don't understand men? A little, not too much. You intend to learn? Of course. What is your name? Harry. Harry Lyme. I am very unique man. I do many sketches of men, but never painting. But today I say to myself, there is a man that I should try to paint. So perhaps now I'm ready. Oh, wait a minute, I... Oh, no, 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 no waiting. The light is very good. Head a little to the right, yes? So, good. You plan to paint my portrait now? Nobody ever did that before. No one ever painted you before. I have never painted a man. Shall we learn together? Oh. Brad. Well, what happened, Brad? The Renoir's been stolen. I'm sorry, Mr. Lyme. Well, how did it happen? Did you see who it was? Pardon, monsieur. It is for me to ask questions and for you to answer. Question number one. Are you Mr. Lyme? That's right. Ah. Question number two. Are you possessed of a painting by Renoir? Well, my company was possessed of it, but not anymore, apparently. Are we covered, Brad? Did you reach Paul? No, Mr. Lyme. I was trying to. I'm sorry, Brad. I should have been here. Question number three. Where were you? Around. Just find my painting, Inspector. Your painting? Monsieur Renoir belongs to France, to the world. How did you acquire the painting? I bought it this morning. It's my receipt. Sit down, Brad. I'll get you a drink. Question number four. Five. Number five. What did you intend to do with that painting? I take it to England. Ah. Monsieur, are you aware that this painting is a classified work of art? 
uh, that by the law of France cannot be taken out of the country. Without an export license, yes, I'm aware of it. Ah. May I? Not yet, monsieur. We must check these papers. Check all you want. Here you are, Brad. Drink it down. Too bad about fall. I'm sorry, Mr. Lyon. I've lost the company over half a million dollars. I told you before, it's my fault. I should have been here. We shall find the painting, Mr. Lyon. Have no fear. I shall personally arrest the thieves. I doubt it, Inspector. Hello, Moran. Allons-y. Au revoir, monsieur. But until we have checked the papers, ne quittez pas la cité. Entendu? Oui, monsieur. Ah. What did he say? And what they always say, Brad, Nikita Palacite. Do not quit the city. That's right. Same in any language. How's it going? Very well. If you like, you can come and have a look. Well, you like it? Well, I don't know what my opinion's worth. To me, I a great deal. You have knowledge of art as well as of life. I'll tell you, I think it's good. It's very good. Really? You mean that? Yes, I do. Oh, then I can take courage and ask a favor. A favor what? I have been asked to prepare my work for a one-man show in London. What's well, marvelous? What gallery? The Les that's well, better still. You do very well. Oh, but not my portrait. Oh, but I thought you liked it so much. I think 50 portraits and only one man. So you got the publicity. I don't need the publicity. I'm sorry, Veronique, but uh, no. Oh, I'm so disappointed. Ah, but in that case, you must let me give it to you. That is, if you really like it. I said I like it very much, and I'd like to buy it. Then there's no chance of it being shown. Oh, you are very unreasonable, but I must agree. What do you charge for a portrait? For the women, 1,700 francs, sometimes more. I say $350, I'll give you 500. No, you must give 300 because I am unpracticed. 600 because you're getting better all the time. 200. 750. That's my final offer. That was nice. Uh, but the light is going. I must get on with the painting. Well, tomorrow's another day. Harry, it will soon be dark. And you can paint pictures in the dark. Very good, Miss Mahon. Very good indeed. No one can tell the difference. Only me. And I think then only if I saw the two together. Right. But my old friend Harry Boy's pretty sharp, so we'd better let him have the original. Of course. He's going to buy it. That is what you wanted, isn't it? Mm, part of it. It ought to be in your show. It'd be a sensation. I think so. But I said... Uh... Yes, I know. So we'd better let him take it to London. Then you can try again. This time you want to be able to persuade him. By the way, how are you getting on with my friend Harry Boyd? He is very sympathetic. Yes, I picked the right one when I picked you. Mr. Merrick, you have been very kind to me. You arranged my show for me, so I agree to this plan. To paint Harry and to make you a copy secretly. Yes, well? You told me it was a joke. So it is. Now I am not too sure. I think Harry would be very angry. And that it upset you? Yes. And you won't tell him, will you? Or anyone else. It'd be a pity if you didn't get your show after all. That's right, my girl. You do as I say, and we'll get along fine. Do you know what these are? Of course. Frame backings. Yes, yeah, a bit thicker than usual. That's for security. But this one goes into Harry's friend. We'll nail it up later. Now, I want my copy packed up with your other pictures. Have them ready by the weekend. We'll fire them and you to London on Monday. Understood? Yes, Mr. Merrick, but... What's the matter with you? Don't you want a London show? Yes, but... <laughs>
question number one. How is your head? Much better, thank you. Where is our Renoir? We shall find it, and I shall arrest the thieves. Personally? Naturellement. That I will believe when it happens. Question number two. Where is Mr. Lime? I have no idea. And if you have idea, you will not tell me, I think. Exactly. Ah, Mr. Webster, you read that pen. I beg your pardon. You have discretion, hmm? Your face is a poker, huh? Your trap shuts itself. Yours does not. Also, you do not like our Paris, I think. But for Mr. Lime, huh? Ah, Paris has beauty, gaiety, wines, women's enchantings, huh? And what? Pardon. I mean singing. No doubt. We have checked on the sale of the Renoir. It was in order. Alors, if you wish, you may now leave the city. Thank you. We shall inform you when the painting is regained. Au revoir, Mr. Webster. Goodbye. Your stick, monsieur. No, thank you. No, monsieur? You are not happy? I couldn't be happier. I'm quitting the city. It is too much. It's too little. Whatever it is, Harry, it is too much. See you in London. See you in London. Well, Brad, what do you think of it? As you know, Mr. Lyme, I know nothing about art. But this painting is you. Thank you, Mr. Webster. Well, at least he knows what he likes. What shall we do with it, Brad? Do with it? Yes. Oh, you know that old cellar underneath the office in London? Mr. Lyme. Well, we could stick it there for a while. And... Mr. Lyme, have I ever asked you for anything? No, Brad, you haven't. I'm asking you now. Go ahead. This. All right, Brad, it's yours. Do what you like with it. Thank you, Mr. Lyon. Thank you, Mr. Webster. Uh, shall you be taking it with you back to London? Yes, of course. Oh, yes, put him on. Merrick? Harry? So you're back, eh? I've been calling you. Well, I was in Paris, didn't you know? Yes, I read the papers. Any news of the Renoir? Not a thing. I say you slipped up on that one, did you? How much did you pay for it? That's my business. Well, now, let me tell you something. I don't believe that Renoir was ever stolen. You wanted it, didn't you? You double-crossed me, Harry boy. And I won't forget it. No, Brad, nothing here, if you don't mind. No? But you're painting. Why don't you hang it in your own office? I will, Mr. Lyon. Thank you. Mr. Lyme. Look at the painting, Brad. This is it. I thought for a moment it was a copy. Now, what do you suppose that is, Brad? Looks like an identifying mark. But to identify what? Well, there's something wrong, Brad. What is it, Mr. Lyme? Merrick called me up. He sounded pleased. I could hear it in his voice. Why? What's he got to be pleased about? I have no idea. Then he accused me of double-crossing him. Why? I get as good a price for the Renoir from him as I would from anyone else. He knows it. So, what's he been up to? Excuse me. Mr. Lyme. Hello, Harry. Hello, Veronique.
You are not pleased to see me? Is London so different from Paris? You came to ask me something else. Yes, sir. I wanted to ask. For my portrait to hang in your show? Yes. I better. All right, take it. <sighs> well, go ahead, take it. It's in there. Line. She took my painting. Yes, I told her to. Brad, would you come over here for a moment, please? See that car, Brad? Yes, Mr. Lamb. Did you know that in England you can have a private number for your car for a fee of five pounds? Why would you want to? A status symbol. The number on that Rolls Royce down there was MMIL1. Stands for Merrick the Millionaire. Come on, Brad, we're going to collect our $600,000. Fine work, Miss Mann. I told you it wouldn't be difficult. Harry was angry with me. Cold and angry. Angry? Why angry? What's he going to be angry about? Did you tell him about the coffee? I did not tell him anything, nothing at all. But I wish... Oh... Stay where you are. Get out of here. I'm going, Merrick, as soon as I get my Renoir. Renoir? Oh, look here, Harry. Stop trying, Merrick. There had to be two portraits. Well, you did a fine job, Miss Martin. And you were too greedy. I'd have sold you the Renoir, but you wanted it for nothing. So you had it stolen. Now, you knew the customs and police would be looking for it, but they wouldn't search my baggage. Why should they? They knew I had an export license for the painting. Yes, well, Harry. Oh, maybe. Well, let's see if it checks out. Miss Mann's job is to wheedle my portrait out of me, and then they'd be switched, right? I did not know, Harry, about the Renoir. Well, we'll go into that. In the meantime, one of these portraits has a Renoir concealed behind it. Now, the question is which? You'll never know. Harry, I swear to you, I never meant him to use a gun. Well, maybe you didn't. But if you hit the wrong portrait, he's destroyed an irreplaceable Renoir. It'll cost you $600,000. Are you lucky, Mary? I'll leave you the copy. Come on, Brad. I... I did not know about this Renoir. I'm inclined to believe you. You realize, of course, that we'll have to notify the French police that we've recovered the Renoir. And they will naturally insist upon knowing who stole it and why. They will also insist upon doing something about it. Mr. Lime, you were right. It's here. Mr. Lyme. 